Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour, for this moment. Thank you, Lord, because you always turn tragedy to strategy. And Lord, we pray every problem you'll turn to promotion and progress in Jesus' name. I will pray, Lord, you touch every life. You move everyone. And Lord, a ladder we started climbing already will not stop until we get to the very top in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. We can sit down. We come at this time to look at what it means to turn tragedy into strategy. We're looking at Genesis chapter 49. And I read from verse 22. Genesis chapter 49 verse 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow. Even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall. The archers were sorely grieved. They sorely grieved him and they shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength and the arms of his hand were very strong. They were strong by the hand of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Then we learn about a young man. We learn about a youth that allowed God to work in his life. And even though he had problems, Precious persecution, opposition, slander, difficulties, challenges, yet he did not allow any of those things that were like dragons to drag, to drag him down. Through it all, and in it all, he still had the success and the progress that the Lord had ordained for him. That's where we are looking at his life. And we're going to see how to turn our tragedy into strategy. As we look at this, I want you to look at your life. Did anything happen to you in the past that appeared negative as if the world was upside down as if he here is he is gone down he might never come up it happened like that to joseph but he came up you will come up i said you will come up tragedies problems difficulties pressures dangers whatever they are challenges they always happen in life but blessed is the boy and blessed is the girl that will not allow any of those things to keep him down and you come back to the place you really be belong turning tra 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 tragedy into strategy we're going to divide the message to three parts number one past pattern of such backs it happened to other people before and when it happens today it's not a strange thing past pattern of setbacks number two practical programming for success in spite of what happened in the past you can reprogram your life you can repackage your life you can rechannel the stream and you can refocus your attention so that that success you'll still make it practical programming for success number three positive progress 
towards the summit. Positive progress towards the summit. Number one. What's number one? Did I hear you? Past pattern of search back. Let's look at how it all began. Genesis chapter 37. Genesis chapter 37. And as we look at Genesis chapter 37, we'll see how the problem, the pressure, the persecution, the past pattern of setback started in Joseph's life. Genesis 37. I'm reading from verse, reading from verse 8. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us? Or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Hatred started it all. After that hatred, they began to plan how they will get rich of him. Verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. They ganged up against him. They held a meeting against him. They went to the back door behind the curtain. And they began to brainstorm, to sing, to conspire. How do we get rich of him? Verse 19. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer cometh. They didn't even call him his name now. They began to call him a nickname. In verse 20, come now therefore, and let us slay him. And cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast have devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. That was their plan, their plot, and the plight they wanted to get him into. They said, Let us slay him. Nobody can slay the dreamer. I said nobody can slay the dreamer. Because that dream will come alive. That dream will come true. That ambition will take place. And that top of the ladder, you will reach it in Jesus' name. I say something came to Joseph. I call that thing by a little word. And I call it problem. Everybody say problem. Say it well. Problem. But you know, there are people, many people have different attitudes to problems. Some people cry. Some people lie down. For some people, when a problem comes, it's like it's all over. It's all over. Education is over. Salvation is over. Church is over. Bible reading is over. Holiness is over. Taking an uncompromising stand is over. And it's like contending for the faith was delivered unto the saints. It's all over. Look at me. I have a problem. And the problem stops them. But you know, Joseph, when a problem came, that problem did something to him. Write the word problem. Problem. P R. What's the next alphabet? O. The next one. B. The next one. L. The next one. E. The next one. M. Problem. When the problem came, Joseph said, that problem P is a pointer. It's a pointer. Everybody pointing at me. Here is a dreamer. They don't have any dream. Here is a dreamer. 
They don't have any ambition. Here is a dreamer. They don't have any goal. Here is a dreamer. And they don't have any where they're going. Here is a dreamer. All they can do is sit around and plan and plot. All they can do is point at me. I must be significant. My name is in everybody's mouth. Everybody is mentioning my name. Everybody is saying something about me. They will not even talk about themselves. They will not talk about the goals they want to reach. They are not thinking about what they are going to achieve. All they are talking about is me. He said, this is great. He saw problem as a pointer. They are pointing to him that that is the champion. That is the dreamer. And they wanted to bring that scene down. And so whenever any problem comes to you, you just understand, ah, Satan is pointing my direction. All the people are pointing my direction. And it shows I am somebody. Say, I am somebody. If you were a nobody, nobody will regard you. Who regards a nobody? We see a nobody on the side of the road. We don't even turn our eyes to look at them. We just go, we just go ahead. Is somebody, is somebody who is now making a name, who is going up, that they put the problem on, he saw the problem as a pointer. R is a reminder, a reminder, a reminder. Whenever any problem comes to you, remind yourself. And remember that that problem is coming so as to challenge you. Because those people are seeing that you are going to become a star. You are going to become a champion. That's why the problem is there. The problem only comes to remind you. It is a reminder. Oh, opportunity. The problem is just an opportunity to test you. Whether you are able to stand your ground. Whether you are able to hold to your dream. Whether you are able to still say, no matter what, no matter how, no matter who, I am going on. The problem is just an opportunity. What's the next letter? B is a bell ringer. The bell ringer. They are ringing the bell. They are ringing the bell. They are telling me, wake up. They are telling me, develop a strategy. They are telling me, move on. They are telling me that all those people are there, and even though they are true, I'm going to go through the midst of them. The problem is just a bell ringer. is telling me, change classes. Move to the next level. And now understand that you have to develop your spine. You have to develop your backbone. You have to develop the muscles on your feet. It's just a bell ringer calling you. Come to the next level. L is a lesson. There's a lesson to learn from this. A problem is a lesson. It's teaching me a lesson that even though people are close to me, not all the people that are close to you love progress. Not everybody that is close to you loves a dream. Everybody wants to remain in the city of nobody, in the city of familiar. They want to remain in the familiar ground where everybody is just chilling the ground. Everybody is watching over sheep. Everybody is just merry going round. That's teaching you a lesson that it is not everybody in life that comes around you that is going to lift you up to the place you ought to be. Problem E, that's just an experience. An experience. It's an experience which passed through in life. And we need those experiences to know the problems that come, the challenges that come. And we make use of those stumbling blocks to become a stepping stone. It is an experience. M. That problem is a motivator. Motivator is a mentor. Is a coach. Is a trainer. It is that problem that motivates you. That mentors you. That monitors you. That makes you. That measures you. That tells you, hey, look at where you are and see how the problem has come. And then as a coach, as a trainer, 
that problem will then lift you up and come to the next level. That's the way Joseph saw the problem. That's why he knew. Although all those things are there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm still moving on. The challenges are there. I'm still moving on. The past experiences that came. I'm still moving on. Look at your problem that way. As a pointer. As a reminder. As an opportunity to excel. As a bell ringer. As a lesson to learn something from. As an experience. As a motivator. And that problem will not keep you down in Jesus name. I need a good good amen. amen. Point number two. What's point number two? Practical programming for success. Do you use computer at all? How many of you use computers? Anybody there? Computer? Can I see your hand? Computer? Let's sit up very well. Praise God. I said praise God. So I'm talking to computer literate people. You know what? What goes in is what comes out. If you don't put a program inside that computer, the computer will do nothing. There's nothing to respond to. If you put something good in, then something good will come out. You need to put some programming into this computer that you carry about in the Hedge your brain, practical programming, and it is when you put some programs in that it does what will come out. In fact, you say garbage in, garbage out, good in, good out. What goes in is what comes out, and so don't stuff your mind with dirty pictures, dirty things. Put some good, good things into this computer. And put some good 